The giant swan, a magnificent crested dinosaur from late Cretaceous Russia. This is the Allura Titan. Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dinosaur Channel. I am your host, Tal, and welcome to your home on the internet for all things dinosaur and prehistoric. Today, we're going to be talking about the Allura Titan. But before we do, I want to remind you guys to subscribe and turn those notifications. You can also leave us a dinosaur-sized thumbs up and comment down below dinosaur prehistoric creature you would like to see us cover in the future. We are covering every single dinosaur and prehistoric creature in the Jurassic World and Jurassic Park franchise. You can also become a member on this channel and unlock cool icons and emojis that you can use when interacting with us. It also go a long way to supporting this channel. But that being said, let's jump into the Allura Titan. So what does Allura Titan mean? Well, it means gigantic swan, which is a reference to its long neck. Allura is the Latin word for swan and Titan means large or gigantic. Belgian paleontologist Pascal Jodefon and colleagues described and named the Allura Titan as a new species in 2003. So when and where did this animal live? The Allura Titan lived during the middle Mastriation age of the late Cretaceous period around 72 to 66 million years ago in what is now Russia. It is said to be one of the last non-avian dinosaurs, meaning it's not related to birds. The Allura Titan went extinct during the late Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event. I think it is time for a side note. The Cretaceous Paleogene extinction, also known by several names, including the Cretaceous Tertiary, KT extinction, or KPG extinction, is probably the best known global extinction event ever. So it's popular for wiping out the dinosaurs, but it was a sudden mass extinction that took place about 66 million years ago, wiping out 75% of plants and animal species on the face of the earth. This event divided the Cretaceous period, which marked the end of the Mesozoic era and the Tertiary period, which marked the beginning of the current known era as the Cenozoic era. A phenomenon known as impact winter was caused by the huge number of large asteroids hitting the earth. The amount of dust and debris released into the atmosphere blocked the sun for days and the plants began dying, leaving animals with no food, causing them to starve to their death. If you want to watch a cool interview I did with a paleontologist called Robert De Palma, who talks about a formation on a site called the Tannis Formation in North Dakota, he explains all about the last day of the dinosaurs in that interview. I highly recommend you watch it. It's on our channel. But side note is Ola. The holotype specimen of a lower titan consisting of a nearly complete skeleton was discovered in the Urduchukan Formation of the Kundur in the Amur region of Russia sometime between 1999 and 2001. And what's a holotype you might ask? Well, a holotype is the the original specimen from which the description of a new species is made. The Allura Titan fossil was the first nearly complete dinosaur specimen to be described from Russia. It is the most complete Lambiosaurian skeleton discovered anywhere outside of Western North America. And you might be asking yourself, what did the Allura Titan look like? The Allura Titan was a Lambiosaurian hadrosaur or a crested duck-billed dinosaur. Most scientists agree that it was likely bipedal and assumed a quadrupedal posture while feeding. It was a rather large dinosaur estimated to have grown up to 30 39.4 feet or 12 meters long or 14 feet or 4.26 meters tall and weighed roughly five tons. It had a thick squat torso. The forelegs of this creature were slender while its hind legs were muscular. It had a long and stout tail which seemed to be rigid at the bones and at the base of its tailbone were discovered to be fused together. The skull of the Allura Titan was similar to other hadrosaurids. It had a distinctive tall hollow head crest that rose up from the top and back of the skull and pointed backwards, kind of shaped like a hatchet or a fan. The crest contained the extension of the nasal cavity, which led scientists to believe that it could have been a sensory organ. Some researchers also hypothesized that it could have been used for vocalization, but it's all speculation at this point for now, since the relevant portions of the crest of the Allura Titan were either fragmentary or crushed. So no one really knows the route its nasal passage took. The Allura Titan's snout was formed like a bill, like the present day ducks. It contained hundreds of continually replaced narrow teeth or dental batteries. For the thing that gave the Allura Titan its name, this gigantic swan's neck was longer than any other Lambiosaurin. Although it is not nearly as long as sauropods, it consisted of 18 neck vertebrae, whereas most of its contemporaries only had about 15. With its long neck and distinct head ornament, the Allura Titan was considered as one of the most elegant dinosaurs of all time. I'm imagining a herd of Allura Titan looking like a group of ladies at a tea party. You know, with their poised stance and fancy hats? Well, let's talk about how the Allura Titan got famous. It didn't. There's not much mention of this dinosaur in popular culture, it did appear in the Japanese version of Sega card-based arcade. 
arcade game, Dinosaur King, which was awesome. And in the Jurassic universe, you can find the Allure Titan in the Dinosaur Park simulation game, Jurassic World Evolution, via the Secrets of Dr. Wu downloadable content pack. It's also been featured in Jurassic World Evolution 2, and of course, it was most popularly featured recently in Apple TV Plus's new series, Prehistoric Planet, where you see a herd of Allure Titan scaling a volcanic cliffside. It is really, really amazing, and I highly recommend seeing it. All right, it is time to dig into this creature's diet and behavior. The Allure Titan was an herbivore, or a plant eater that lived in the woodlands and marshes of Asia. Its jaws and teeth were adapted for grazing and chewing. Because of its powerful hind legs, it's believed that the Allura Titan could have run at decent speeds and avoided predators altogether. It doesn't really have any other forms of self-defense, unfortunately for the Allura Titan. And that, my friends, is the lovely Allura Titan. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single dinosaur quick dive that we do in the future because we are covering every single creature in the Jurassic World and Jurassic Park franchise. Of course, you can support this channel by becoming a member and joining down below. If you do, you unlock cool icons and emojis that you can use when interacting with us. And the last thing that we ask is that you leave a dinosaur size thumbs up and comment down below a prehistoric creature or dinosaur that you would like to see us cover in the future and we'll see you guys in the next episode okay bye